Okay, so so far I have covered hypotheses involving only a single restriction that is about only one particular slope coefficient value. But frequently we want to test multiple hypotheses about underlying parameters. To do that, I'm going to introduce you to the F test. And this test is used to test multiple linear restrictions on a particular model. And I'm going to show you this uh, using an example. And in this example, we are interested in knowing whether a group of variables has no effect on the dependent variable. And more precisely, the null hypothesis is that a set of variables has no impact on y. That is in contrast with our previous uh, t-test where we were testing only about one particular variable. We are testing this hypothesis for a group of variables. Let me show you an example of these restrictions and how to test these restrictions for a group of variables. Okay, so here is the model and we want to test the null hypothesis that whether these three variables, they have any impact on the salary of uh, the players and we want to test these variables as a group. So this model is the total salary of the players and years is the number of years in the league. Game year is the average game played per year. This is batting average and this variable represents uh, home runs per year. And finally, this final variable, it represents the runs batted in per year. So our hypothesis is that once years in the league, this variable and games per year have been controlled for the statistics measuring performance that is batting average, home runs and runs batted per year. These three variables have no impact on salaries. These are our exclusion restrictions. And this type of test is called F test or joint hypothesis test because we are testing all these hypotheses as a group rather than one particular individual parameter. To get the F test values, the first thing we want to do is we are going to run this model, which is our unrestricted model. And then we are going to impose these restrictions and progress a restricted model, which will be log of salary as a function of we imposed these three restrictions and if these beta parameters are zero then we'll be left with this uh, restricted model we are going to get our f test value based on the sum of square residual from the restricted model minus sum of squared residuals from the unrestricted model we're going to divide it by the number of restrictions which in our case is three and we're going to divide it by sum of squared unrestricted and divided by degrees of freedom from the unrestricted model. And this is number of restrictions. I'm going to use F distribution and reject H0 if F is greater than critical value. And if this hypothesis is rejected, then we are going to conclude that at least one of these variables has some impact on salaries. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you an example and I'm going to show you three methods to calculate F value or F statistic. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.